So to determine if a data set is skewed, we want to be thinking about um, you know what a histogram or what uh, yeah basically what a histogram of the data set would look like. So this is an example of a skewed right histogram. And I'm just drawing real quickly so it's looking a little ugly. But this would be skewed right because it's not perfectly centered. There's a few values that are off to the left of where our center would be. This is kind of like where our center is. There's numbers off to the right, so we call that skewed right. And then skewed left would be the same type of thing, just with some lower numbers. That would be skewed left here, because there's a few few that seem like, you know, if we were to think about a perfectly centered data set, it would look like this, right? It's skewed left because uh, when you, or if you were to like make that line, it looks more like this. There's a few values on top. So this is skewed left, this is skewed right. <coughs> okay, so knowing that, um, which shows a skew to the data set. This one looks pretty symmetrical. Four sevens, there's eight eights, there's twelve nines. They're all kind of near the center here, around 11 or 12, with a few to the left and a few to the right. If we didn't have this uh, five fourteens here, and we didn't have these 10, 13s, then all of a sudden it's starting to look skewed left. But because there's some to balance it on each side, we don't consider it skewed. Same thing with this one. There's there's five, uh, there's three fives, three sixes, there's one sixteen. This is pretty balanced. There's a little bit on each side of the center. Uh, same, man, same kind of thing here. One, two, three, 13, 10. This one looks more like a skew. That might be no. These are balanced. There's three, 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 three. Those all look good. That looks good. This one I'm going to go with as a skew, because there's one twelve, <coughs> two thirteens, three fourteens, and then all of a sudden fifteen, fifteen, uh, thirteen, fifteens, ten, sixteens. The center has a lot of numbers. There's a few numbers that are a little bit to the left. Uh, but that's it, why this one's a tough one because it's like a judgment call. Okay. Uh, there's no formula for calculating a skew. So on this one down here, there's three sixes, two sevens, and there's nothing to bounce. There's no threes and twos over here to bounce it out on the left side. So I'm gonna go with those two. So it marked it correct. Don't be don't be like disheartened if you get it marked wrong. You might have the right idea. It's just because with this part of the statistics class, it's it's kind of an interpretive. You don't uh, there's no clear cut right answer.